Welcome to the nectar of Chaitanya Charit Amrita. And I hope you will share actively with us about this nectar. Because I didn't prepare anything, so it's up to you now. <laughs> okay, little joke. But anyway, you are invited to please, please uh, share something. I thought today it would be nice to talk about the links Ananda Das Babaji is always giving between Shri Bilap Kusumanjali and Chaitanya Charit Amrita. You think it's okay if we talk about this? Good. So I selected one verse from Vilap Kusumanjali. It's 59. And we will just see what is inside from Chaitanya Charitamrita and then jump to Chaitanya Charitamrita Adilila and look what is written more there. In this way, we may follow Srila Anandadas Babaji's footsteps and try to get a little bit more of his mercy and his mood. So, Chaitanya Chart Amrita quoted in Shishi Vilap Kusumanjali verse number 59 is, for example, Ama hoite anandita hoi tri bhuvana, ama ke ananda di be oiche konjana, ama hoite yara hoi shatta shatta guna, se jana ala dite para mora mana. Ama hoite guni bodo chakate asambhava, e kalira tate taha kori anubhava. So this is a statement from Chaitanya. Charit Amrita, and it is given by Srila Anandadas Babaji here in the explanation of verse number 59. All the three worlds are delighted by me, Krishna says. But is there any person who can delight me? Good question. All the three worlds are delighted by me. But is there any person who can delight me? Only a person who is a hundred times more qualified than me can delight my mind. I only experience that in Radha. Jai Sri Radhe. Very nice quotation. It is impossible for anyone in this world to be more qualified than me. I can only experience that in Radha. A little bit above that, there is another statement of Chaitanya Charit Amrita Adilila 4, text 199 to 200. Swaminiji makes blissful Krishna experience even more bliss. Swaminiji makes blissful Krishna, his Atmaram, but she will give him experience of even more bliss. So what he was looking for in this statement, here is the solution.
Swamini G makes blissful Krishna experience even more bliss. How it's possible? And we jump again up Ananda Das Babaji. We are still in the same words, of course. Verse 59 of Vilap Kusumanjali in the explanation. So how it is possible? There is a general statement which comes more and more into specific explanation. It starts up with Gopi Bath actually. And this is like in Chaitanya Charit, Amrita. First is it, is it is explained what is Gopi Bhav, that the Gopis are completely selfless. It is also explained that there are different kind of gopis, five kind of gopis. And we know about the Visham Sneha, Sam Sneha and Adik Sneha of the different kind of Sakis. First is Sadaran Saki, they want to be married. We understand what kind of sneha that is. Then they are Priya Sakis, some sneha. Then they are Priya Nama Sakis. They are also some sneha, but they tend to go more to Radha, especially when she is in Man. Then they are Brana Sakis. They are very dear to Radha. But then there comes Nitya Sakis. These are the Mandaris and Kinkaris. So these five kinds of Sakis are existing and actually it's starting from Gopiba, from that base actually. It's, ex ex it's explained in Chaitanya Charitamrita. And Ananda Das Babaji is such an expert that he actually quotes again and again from this knowledge from Chaitanya Charitamrita. So it is said here that they serve and their nature is explained. They serve and in which kind of nature they serve actually. It's great ecstasy. Swamini goes to Krishna to make him happy with her service. The nature of Brahma is that it just wants to make Krishna happy. So we can understand this is the nature of Brahma. Brahma just wants to make Krishna happy. Sri Jiva Goswami has described three grounds to Brahma. So in the Briti Sanba, Sandarbha 61 it is explained. First is the soul of Briti, the very soul of Briti. It is the desire to make Krishna happy or to be favorable to his happiness at least. So this is the ground nature of Brahma. Then, second, the arising of different desires in the lover for the sake of Krishna's happiness. And the third is, when Krishna is happy, the lover is happy. So the first of these three kinds of these ground natures is the constitutional hallmark, Swarup Lakshana. It's the Swarup Lakshana of Brahma. 
The other one are Tatashta Lakshana. So they can change. But the hallmark is serve him for his happiness. So completely selfless love. This is the base, the ground of Brahma. That's why Gurudev is often saying, first we have to be on the platform of Gopi Bhav. That's because of that. We have to reach the hallmark, which is the nature of Brahma. And of course we can understand that Radharani has all kind of hallmarks in her nature to make Krishna happy in any ways, in all kind possible ways. So this was the connection I wanted to give you the link from verse 59, Vilap Kusumanjali, to the Adi Lila 4. Anyone has some commentary on that or some questions, then please. Anyway, you can interrupt any time. If you have some question or you want to share something, please, any time. Feel free. Uh, Gauravani Ji, yes. I tried, but maybe it, you not heard my uh, remark. Oh, no, I and didn't just, hear you. Yeah. Yeah, what I understood. Uh, then you just started to read first quotation when Krishna is telling but one person, 100 more times qualified when, than he is. This is, this is Srimati Radhika. And I remember how Srila Gurudev explained here, there is so much proud in himself, how Radha is more superior to Krishna. <laughs> and this is the quint, quint essence, I don't know my pronunciation, quint essence of Three reasons why Krishna came to here as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he asked us what the reasons why he came, and devotees tried to, um, Suniti Didi, Jananda Maharaj, and ours tried to remember these three reasons. And I remember how Gurudev was <laughs> so emotional, and he explained himself and the essence of his explanation, how he, tell, he told my boss, my Swamini, the best. <laughs> the best. <laughs> These quotations I like so much from Chaitanya Charitamrita because it's about it, so clear. Krishna recognizing, yes, Srimati Radhika is the best. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, it's Ananda Das Babaji is also saying so many times, sometimes he says, how sweet is just the thought that I am the servant of that Radhika. How sweet. And sometimes he's telling in many different ways, but you can always see how proud he is inside to be the servant of that Swamini. And Srila Gurudev showed that in the last, uh, like Radha Charan mentioned now, he showed so nicely, his emotions were so clear. I want to add a little bit more. Yes, um, please. Uh, this story was narrated by Anandamai, a Russian Anandamai. Uh, and that story uh, uh, was Rasa dance. And Krishna and Radha was in the middle of cycle. And Krishna danced for Radha, and he tried to show her his expertise in dancing. 
so much. And then uh, Shimati Radhika started to dance. And her first movement, little, little bow down, and like, you know what, like this, little bit, and some gesture by hands. And she did it with so much lavanya, means so much elegance, but Krishna's mouth, oh, like this. <laughs> he was so amazing just by how sweet, very simple movement. Recently, he, he, here was one festival and was one dance where uh, first Krishna danced and so much movement of hands, legs. M maybe you remember uh, Gauranga Sundra here ma made commentary for his dance. And then Radha came. Her movements was a little bit, not so much, but Krishna was completely captivated. In that moment, when Shradika just did this, her first movement of hands, he was completely amazed how sweet it is. And more amazing was also when Radha saw his feelings, how he amazed by her just very simple movement. She was amazing also by his amazing. Radha, Radha. Thank you so much. Only by hearing that from you, the heart is jumping. It's really so wonderful that even the slightest gesture, the slightest movement of Radharani's limbs or eyes, are actually they have such an impact in Krishna's heart that it will burst. It's so unbelievable how much love is there. And even the slightest movement of that actually binds down Krishna to the utmost and he will even fall unconscious. But let us hear what he himself is saying officially about Radharani. So we had the base of Gopi Bhav already because text three, 213 up to text 212, there's a description about Gopi Bhav, but now it starts. Text 213, Adi Lila, Chapter 4. O Partha, the Gopis know my greatness, my loving service, respect for me and my mentality. Others cannot really know these. This is the verse spoken by Lord Krishna to Arjuna in the Adi Purana. Se gupi gana matye uttama radhika rupe kune shabakye prema sarvadika. Among the gopis, Srimati Radhika is the foremost. She surpasses all in beauty, in good qualities, in good fortune, and above all, in love. Yatarata Priya Vishnu Stasya Kundhambriyam Tata Sarva Gopishu Savaika Vishnu Adyanta Vallabha. Just as the Radha is dear to Lord Krishna, so her bathing place, Radhakund, is dear to him. She alone is his most beloved of all the gopis. O 
Gopart. In all the three planetary systems, this Earth is especially fortunate. For on Earth is the town of Brindavan, and there the gopis are especially glorious, because amongst them is my Shrimati Radharani. Isn't that heart melting? Mom, I come. <laughs> Should yes. have told. Mom, I come. Only one. This one. Mom, I come. My one. <laughs> this earth is especially fortunate before, uh, because on earth is the town of Brindavan. And there are the gopis. But they are especially glorious because amongst them is my Srimati Radharani. Krishna is saying this in Adi Purana to Arjuna. So we can understand that actually it's a fact. It's a completely fact that 1866 of Bhagavad Gita this verse Radhacharan just quoted here. Sarvadamana parichajamam ekam sharanam varacha. He is giving the advice to Arjuna after telling him everything, the whole Bhagavad Gita, all kinds of self realization. In, in, in the end, he's telling you can forget about all this if you. Just surrender to the lotus feet of my one. So this for me is the conclusion of the Bhagavad Gita. This is the real understanding of the Bhagavad Gita. Forget about surrendering to me. Go to my one. Because you cannot give higher savor to me than go to my one and serve her. This is amongst all things I said in Bhagavad Gita. Radharani is outstanding. Gauravaniji, can I add? Of course, I love your ads. Before this, what we just started to discuss, I thought the best um, instruction of Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, previous verse, 65, 1865, Manmana Bhava Namaskuru. And if you couldn't do this, then Sarvada Ranpachita, but now, I think this is the best. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> yes, you're right. And to be honest, in my case, I can say, I'm so useless. I couldn't do anything of Bhagavad Gita. I could not follow. If you read what kind of ways there are, to get more and more transcendental, to come on the platform of soul consciousness. How difficult! Ajuna is asking in between. I think it's, it's, it's impossible to catch the mind. It's like the wind. So how to, to, to get hold on the mind, you know, control, not possible. I myself, I can see it's not possible for me to control anything, nothing. I'm completely lost, like some grass on the street in the wind. 
If the wind goes there, I go there. If the wind goes there, I go there. Fortunately, really, fortunately, most fortunately, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. And he said, yes, okay, you're lost like straw on the street. That's okay. Just understand it. Keep it on your mind that you are lost. And Nitai is the wind. And he will show us the way. So if we just stay in this mind, in this window, I'm completely useless, I'm completely out of control, I'm lost. Let him do whatever he likes. Nitai will deliver us to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is Radharani. The mood of Radharani. The love of Radharani. And inside that there is also the love for us, for these lost souls, for the little babies, like Gurudev is saying. These little babies, will she not take care of these little babies? Of course, her lover, but also the babies. And when the babies are safe, they can actually come within the rasa. And then we come, Hare Hare, come in the kunj, play with us. How perfectly this love is. And we can be so happy, so happy, so amazingly happy that to the mercy of Gurudev and to the mercy of Nandadas Babaji and to the mercy of all the Acharyas, we can be at least a little bit conscious where we belong to. At least in my case, it's just some glimpse and I hope to never let loose the lotus feet of Nitai in what form ever form of Guru Manjari or Guru Tattva, whatever, just let me hold on, it's my only chance. O oh, Parta, in all the three planetary systems, this earth is especially fortunate, for on earth is the town of Brindavan. And there the gopis are especially glorious because amongst them is my Srimati Radharani. It's so wonderful, this verse. I could hear it again and again and again. Because my Srimati Radharani is there. That's why the gopis are so glorious. Text 217. All the other gopis help increase the joy of Krishna's pastimes with Radharani. Again, all the other gopis help to increase the joy of Krishna's pastimes with Radharani. The gopis act as the instruments of their mutual enjoyment. Oh, actually, here is the Purport and the five groups of Sakis are described. I mentioned that already, so we will go on. Text 218.
Krishna Vallabha Radha Krishna Pranadhana Tanhavi nu sukkahetu nahe gopigana. Radha is the beloved consort of Krishna, and she is the wealth of his life. Radha is the beloved consort of Krishna, and she is the wealth. Without Radha, the gopis cannot give him pleasure. Without Radha, no pleasure. Not only in the gopis' case, all others also. Yashodama, without Radha, she cannot be Yashodama. Because she is the part of parental love from Radha. And of course, in all other relationships, it's the same. Without Radha, there is no love exchanged in that kind. Text 219 Lord Krishna, the enemy of Kangsa, left aside the other gopis during the Rasa dance and took Srimati Radharani to his heart, for she is the helper of the Lord. In realizing the essence of his desires, Again, Lord Krishna, the enemy of Kamsa, left aside the other gopis during the Rasa dance and took Srimati Radharani to his heart. For she is the helper of the Lord in realizing the essence of his desires. Without her, he does not understand himself what to speak of his desires, his innermost desires, without Radharani. He can never understand. He is saying, I am the dancing people. Radharani is my guru. In other words, I am dancing like she wants. And he has full faith that he can not, really not think of one thought without Radha. What's the use? We are actually used to think without Radha and without Krishna independently. We have some plans independently. We want to think about things independently, not connected to Radha or Krishna. That's actually what is giving us so much problems. <laughs> Krishna cannot even slightly think about that. Think without Radha? No, not possible. I'm completely dependent on her love. If I want to know myself, my real inner wishes, I go to her. She 
knows. She knows me better than I myself. She knows my innermost wishes in the heart. Without her, I cannot even understand. What kind of relationship is that? We cannot even imagine that here. But we get some hint of the deepness of this relationship. Krishna is giving himself completely, completely to Radharani. And Radharani is giving herself completely to Krishna. But also to her maidservants. We are so lucky. If we can follow Rati Manjari, Rupa Manjari, if we will make it one day, then we will be in such a wonderful position Srimati Radharani is holding by Krishna to his heart, for she is the helper of the Lord in realizing the essence of his desires. Lord Chaitanya appeared with the sentiment of Radha. He preached the Dharma of this age, the chanting of the Holy Name and pure love of God. This is actually an amazing verse also. Because what is this actually telling? Lord Chaitanya appeared with the sentiment of Radha. And he preached the Dharma of this age, which is the chanting of the Holy Name and pure love of God. So what is pure love of God? It can be only, only reached by following Radha. So the Dharma of this age is to follow Radharani. The chanting of the Holy Name and pure love of God. The Dharma of this age is following Radharani and the Goswamis who are actually exactly in that mood. This is the Dharma of this age. And what is the Holy Name? Gurudev explained us the Holy Name. What does it mean? It's pure rasa. It's pure exchange of love between Radharani and Krishna. And Hare Hare! Come in, come, why you're standing outside, come, come in. You are part of that. We are part of that. Just a question of our consciousness. That's why Maha Prabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the great, great Prabhu of Chaitanya. Chaitanya means 
consciousness also. Different meanings, but also consciousness. So the greatest Brabo of consciousness, what is this consciousness? The consciousness of serving in Radharani's mood, some kind of her mood, different kinds of her mood, but serving in that mood which you choose to Krishna, with her. No way without her. No way! So this age of Kali Yuga especially is made for Radharani's sentiment, for Radharani's mood. And it actually makes most sense. We are living in the world of du duality. When outside is the hardest time, inside it's the most easiest way to connect. Doesn't, it, it makes sense, actually, because it's always duality, it has to level, always. Most hard time outside, most easiest way to connect. And this is Radharani's mood, giving us the most easiest way to connect with her. giving us the most easiest way to come back to our constitutional position. In Ladini Shakti means at the breast of Mama. Get her milk, get her love, be safe. So this is our most good fortune. Even half gods are coming in Kali Yuga because it's the most easiest way. They're taking birth on earth. Srila Prabhupada mentioned so many times. Text 221 Se bhavenicha vancha karila purana avatarera evancha mula karana In the mood of Srimati Radharani, he also fulfilled his own desires. This is the principal reason for his appearance. So he fulfilled his own desires. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Goshani Brachendra Kumara Rasamai Murti Krishna Shakshat Shringhara Lord Shri Krishna Chaitanya is Krishna Brachendra Kumara, the embodiment of Rasas. He is amorous love personified. Serasa asadite kaila avatara anusanga kaila sabara sera prachara. He made his appearance to taste that conjugal mellow and incidentally to broadcast all the rasas. He made his appearance to taste that conjugal mellow. Taste himself and distribute. Of course, 
he has to distribute or to offer all the rasas. Because love never interferes in the free will of the souls. Choose. My dear friends, just see how Sri Krishna is enjoying the season of spring. It's a verse from Gita Govinda 1.11. My dear friends, just see how he's enjoying the season of spring, with the gopis embracing each of his limbs. He is like Amora's love personified. With his transcendental pastimes, he enlivens all the gopis and the entire creation. With his soft, bluish, black arms and legs, which resemble blue lotus flowers, he has created a festival for Cupid. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Goshani Rasera Sadhana Vashesha Vishesha Kaila Rasa Svadhana Lord Shri Krishna Chaitanya is the abode of Rasa. He himself tasted the sweetness of Rasa in endless ways. Setvare pravarta ila kali yuga dharma chaitanyera dhase jane e sabha marma. Thus he initiated the dharma for the age of Kali. The devotees of Lord Chaitanya know all these truths. So we see that actually so many different angles, views we can have why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually came. And this is the amazing thing. There are so many aspects. And according to your taste, you can focus on that kind of aspects. And we heard from Krishna Chandra, I think it was some week ago or maybe a little bit longer. We also heard about the three basic uh, ideas why Radharani came. She also had wishes. She wanted to pronounce Krishna's name very loudly everywhere. <laughs> because usually she cannot. At home, she cannot just cry out loud, Krishna, Krishna. She will be in trouble. But she wants so much. Then, of course, she wants to be with him. She wants to be with him all the time. And this is actually the case. She is with him. Or he is with her. embraced and in different moods in one time actually. In Mohan and Madan Mahabhav in the same time. Which means together in highest ecstasy and also in the highest ecstasy of uh, Viraha. And 
this is the amazing thing, actually, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What kind of moods are there? Highest ecstasy, missing. Radharani is missing Krishna so much. In the same time, they are together in, in one body. So what a mercy for us. All these moods are there and giving us actually also hint. Because first we have to understand that we are separated and we have to get this separation mood of Radharani. So that we can come back. Perfect shown by Srila Raghunadas. Actually, Rupa could not show because he had to give all the rasas. He has to show he's a Rupa. He's she's giving Rupa to all Raga, Raga Nugas. But herself, of course. She took her own. That's why we are Rupanugas. But Raghunath is the perfect Rupanuga, and we learn from him. So, in that mood, how is there in Radhakund, at the shores of Radhakund, beating the stone? putting his head there, all the tears running down, completely in this mood. From where he get, he's telling us. He got from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, Sanatan Goswami, and so on. Oh, so he's telling us from where he got. So if we just follow his footsteps, one day this fire will burn in our heart also. And we also will cry Thus, he initiated the Dharma of the age of Kali. The devotees of Lord Chaitanya know all these truths. Purport by Srila Prabhupada, Lord Chaitanya is Sri Krishna himself, the absolute enjoyer of the love of the gopis. He himself assumed the role of the gopis to taste the predominated happiness of transcendental mellows. He appeared in that mood, but simultaneously he propagated the religious process for this age in a most fascinating way. Only the confidential devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can understand this transcendental secret. So how lucky we are that we are in contact with such confidential devotees.
लाइक आनंद दास बाबा जी लाइक आवर गुरुदेव लाइक सो मेनी अदर स्वामीज को स्वामीज वी मैट happy day happy day what a happy day happy day when we met our guru dev <laughs> yes what a happy day we are so happy that we actually got some in some way i don't know how I'm not worth to get this mercy but somehow Gurudev was standing in front of my house the confidential devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu they set fire in our heart Atvaita Acharya Nityananda Srinivas Gadatha Damoda Murari Haridas Arayatta Chaitanya Krishnera Bhakta Gana Bhakti Bhavishire Dhari Sabhara Charana Atvaita Acharya Nityananda Srivas Pandit Gadatha Swarup Damoda Murari Gupta Haridas and all the other devotees of Sri Krishna Chaitanya bowing down with devotion i hold their lotus feet on my head yes let us hold their lotus feet on our head this is the way how we get their mercy shashta shlokera eka hila abhasa mula shlokera arta shuna kariya prakash i have given a hint of the sixth verse now please hear as i reveal the meaning of that original verse shashila krishna das kaviraj goswami is also so wonderfully describing actually we know we had chaitanya bhagavat before and other scriptures but actually this chaitanya charit amrita i don't know if it's just my opinion but for me this is really the precious most precious diamond of all what we hear because it's so much on the point krishna is praising radharani here in such a direct way we can easily understand the connection of chaitanya charit amrita to radharasa sudanidi and the vilap kusumanjali and other high class scriptures desiring to understand the glory of radharani's love the wonderful qualities in him that she alone relishes through her love and the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love the supreme lord hari richly endowed with her emotions appears from the womb of shrimati sachi devi as the moon appears from the ocean 
This is not so easy to understand, this verse, so I will read again. Desiring to understand the glory of Radharani's love, the wonderful qualities in him, that she alone relishes through her love. So first, he wants to understand Radharani's love. Second, the wonderful qualities in himself, which can only be relished by her, by Radharani. And the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. Third, the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. In this way, with all these desires, the Supreme Lord Hari, richly endowed with her emotions, very richly endowed with her emotions, appears from the womb of Srimati Satchidevi. So how how he is appearing, we can understand from this verse. Very richly endowed with her emotions. As the moon appears from the ocean. Sashimukiradhe. Shining. Radharani's face is like the moon, full moon, shining when she's together with him. It's shining, but she's missing him in the same time. It's even more shining. In this way, this face is like coming out of an ocean. We know what is the ocean. Rasavaisaha. And this moon is rising. In this way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is actually coming to this world. No wonder that everybody falls unconscious or sinks in ecstasy when he met or meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So in this way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is coming here, like the moon appears from the ocean. All these conclusions are unfit to disclose in public. But if they are not disclosed, no one will understand them. Again, how lucky we are How lucky we are that we meet such confidential persons who can reveal us this truth. Ataeva kahi kujichu karinani guda bhuji bhera sigabhakta na bhuji bhemudha Therefore, I shall mention them, revealing only the essence, so that loving devotees will understand them, but fools will not. <laughs> Sri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is actually, he, he is such an intelligent person and so kind. He knows that he can reveal it because the fools will anyway not understand. I know in the past with people I was together in Krishna consciousness, they always were controlling that no one actually can even 
pronounce Radharani's name too much, you know. Hiding everything. Everything should be hidden. Can be only revealed to special, special persons who are on the topmost platform, completely qualified. Do we really think that this is Radharani's mood? Only the qualified? Radharani is calling. It's Kali Yuga. It's getting cold. It's getting dark. It's the, the worst time. Come home. All my children, please come back. Come in this rasa, this most wonderful, relishing rasa. Come, surf together with me. It's for everyone. And the one who cannot understand, it's just because they don't want to understand. But it's for everyone. It should be broadcasted everywhere. The mercy of Radharani has to be known everywhere. And the foolish people will not understand because they don't want. Rida ye dara ye ye chitanya nityananda e sava sitante se bhaibe ananda. Anyone who has captured Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Nityananda Prabhu in his heart will become blissful by hearing all these transcendental conclusions. I just remembered when Prabhupada said, Nitai and Goranga should be in everyone's home. We should tell them that these are just some lucky puppets. If you keep them, bring them some water every day, you will be very lucky. You will have good luck. Fortunate puppets. Gaurvanyaji, can I add? Yes, please. <coughs> Srila Naranga Samaraj once narrated how he discussed with Srila Prabhupada in, in Radha Damodar Mandir, he is preaching in America, future preaching in America. And Srila Prabhupada told, I know people like to uh, play with dolls. I want to bring so many Radha Krishna Murtis in box with some incense, like this, and small instruction how to offer. They already, why not do this? He was so, how to say, Mahaprabhu, Shmati Radhika's uh, mood to give Radha Krishna everyone, not only very qualified Brahmanas. And he had desired to bring them to America. About America, he told in one letter, it is Ugra civilization. Very, how to say, I don't know how it's in English. Ugra means very ferocious, very bad civilization. Ugra, fearsome, or something like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, thank you for that sharing. It's so wonderful. How lovely, actually, this mood was from Prabhupada. So lovely, Narayan Maharaj. So lovely, Anandadas Babaji. So lovely, our Gurudev and so many others. It's such a heart-melting mood. 
we have to distribute this love of Rata everywhere in every corner of the world. How we cannot? If you got the most precious thing for nothing, you did not endeavor. You just got it by mercy. Aren't you a miser if you don't distribute it? We have to give to others. It's such a wonderful thing, actually. It can solve all problems of the people. It's the only thing which can solve all problems of the people. E sabasi dhanta hai amrera palava bhakta gana kukilera sarvada valava. All these conclusions are like newly grown twigs of a mango tree. They are always pleasing to the devotees who in this way resemble cuckoo birds. This is a wonderful poem also, because it's giving a very nice picture. Mangoes and cuckoo birds. Cuckoo birds like to pick the mangoes and make it even more sweet. And these are fresh, newly grown twigs of a mango tree. So there will be soon a lot of more mangoes, sweet mangoes. And they are always pleasing the devotee who in this way resemble cuckoo birds. So this confidential knowledge about Radharani, about this mercy, about Nitai and Gauranga, about the holy name for everyone are like fresh twigs on a mango tree, and they will bear fruit soon. And the cuckoos will enjoy them. Because the devotees will enjoy to see others chant in ecstasy, Nitai Gauranga, Nitai Gauranga, Nitai Gaura Haribol, 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 Nitai Gaura Haribol. Devotees will be in ecstasy, they will get this sweetness of this mango tree twigs in this way. Radharani's glories will be distributed all over the world. It just began. We have to be aware that it just began. Like we discussed these days, 1996 was the year actually, which all this began. So Radharani's glories will be distributed everywhere, all over the world. And you all will be part of that. And you will enjoy these mangoes on these fresh grown twigs on the big mango tree. Isn't that a wonderful picture? Whereas the camel-like non-devotees cannot enter into these topics. Therefore, there is special jubilation in my heart. So one may say, oh, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, he is so ironic here, huh? sarcastic, 
special jubilation in his heart because the camel like non devotees cannot understand his topics whereas the devotees will enjoy all this it's not just the distribution of the love it's also the enjoyment of the love to hear about radharani's glories and to hear about the leelas all this but why he can say he's specially jubilation in his heart when the others will not understand because that means we can freely distribute they will anyway not understand who who should not understand because they may may make some they may make some uh, offenses or you know they will anyway not understand so that means we can freely distribute this is actually his heart is jubilating yes we can distribute it freely oh wow yes isn't it we can distribute it freely and this will delight everyone of the hearts of the sweet devotees and Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is explaining more for fear of them I do not wish to speak but if they do not understand then what can be happier in all the three worlds so I can speak freely about Radharani joyfully Atta eva bhakta gane kari namaskara nishanki kahi etara hok jamatkara Therefore, after offering obeisances to the devotees for their satisfaction, I shall speak without hesitating. Wow! So, actually, how long should we share here? I don't know. I'm just speaking and speaking and you are bored maybe and luckily our Radha Charan is also just sharing something and maybe you... Forever. <laughs> Forever, yes. Forever and ever. I pray to Radha, please give me your mercy. <laughs> Jai Nitai. Nitai Gaura Haribo. This is such a wonderful theme, isn't it? Because it's so much connected to us. We are the little babies. We actually are in trouble. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all the Panchatattva, they just came to deliver us. They're taking care of us. Full mercy package. Brema Tattva. I always say Brema Tattva. Panja Tattva, Brema Tattva. They just came to deliver us. Every one of these persons is just bringing the mercy of Radha. And this blue boy. His love is also included. such a mercy who understands that love and does not cry what kind of heart this person has
Ama heute anandita hoi tri bhuvana. Ama ke ananda debe aije kunjana. All the three worlds derives pleasure from me. Is there anyone who can give me pleasure? Ama hoite yara hoi shata shata guna sijana aladite pare mura mana. One who has a hundred times more qualities than me could give me pleasure in my mind. Ama hoite guni bhoto chakate ashambhava ekali radhate tahakari anubhava. One more qualified than me is impossible to find in the world, but in Radha alone I feel the presence of one who can give me pleasure. Jai Sri Radhe. Jai Jai Sri Radhe. So I think it's a good point to stop here because we began with this and we will end today with that statement. And maybe someone of you can go on next time find some connections between Sri Vilap Kusumanjali or Radharasa Sudhanidi and Chaitanya Charita Amrita because there's always quotes in exchange by Srila Ananda Das Babaji. And it's very interesting to go further in that actually. So next time I cannot be here. I have some some business next Monday. So maybe someone else. Maybe Radha Charan, you are inspired. Sorry, but usually I have not so much time to read here. I have enough service. But you are also sitting now here. You could also have read it. <laughs> I can only open and read. With yeah. Books which, I, is here, which is that books which is here on this shelf. With my right. uh, English, not good yes. pronunciation. That's perfect. I also did just read it. So. Anyway, I just wanted to say that I will be not here, unfortunately. So I like to hear that also, you know. I, I'm also listening just like you all. Nita is just a wonderful person. If you just pray a little bit to him, he is giving such a mercy to you. Let us stick to the lotus feet of the devotees and to the lotus feet of Panchatattva and just go on. So let us hug us again in love. <laughs> Actually, I didn't look who is there. Hmm. Gurudev is unfortunately not here. So,
So thank you for listening and sharing. And uh, please, if you could pray for me that Nitai is giving his full mercy and deliver me to Radharani's lotus feet. I can always, I can also pray for you, but it will not actually have any effect. But I'm sure if you pray, it will have. Jai Shri Radhe. Thank you very much. Nitai Gaura Haribo. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, Radhe Radhe Gauravani. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ma Yoga Shakti, huh? She is now yoga teacher, huh? I heard. Yes. Brahma Yoga teacher, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, just um I just started now to give online class. Yes, that's new, but yoga teacher that's long time. Yeah, but thank you. Thank to Gurudev, he inspired me to do it i think <laughs> so yes. i start in, to give german class and perhaps also then in french and in english perhaps <laughs> japanese please <laughs> japanese i need a translator then <laughs> ramani <laughs> thank you thank you Goraman. so thank you all and have a very nice time and see you soon rade rade Thank you, Radhe Radhe. It was most blissful sharing. Radhe Radhe. Jai Shri Radhe. Thanks so much, Gauravani J. Very nice quotations, very nice explanations. Radhe Radhe. And very nice Kirtan in the beginning. And thank you for your very nice uh, sharing of your uh, realizations and what you heard from others and it's so i cannot describe it but it's really it's so precious so precious it's the real wealth of the world actually in such a few hearts thank you for that jai shirati